Hey, <laughs> here are my top five tips and tricks for the OPZ by Teenage Engineering. Number one, random preset. You generate a random preset by holding down the I button, this one right here, and then pressing the record right underneath it. Maybe not so hard. Voila, makes a new sound. I find this super useful because it quickly generates new timber ideas based on whatever melodic sequence you have going. Besides the fact that it's a very simple synth, there are not that many parameters. It's not gonna make something that's completely crazy different from whatever you have going. It'll just make a different variation of it. And yet it also takes you places you wouldn't have thought of by yourself. I find it very useful, I press it all the time. Tape track. You can actually select um, which parts get affected by the tape track. We go to the tape track right over here. This is the tape track. If you hold down the shift button, you can see they're all lit up right now, right? But you can remove, for example, all the melodic parts, and then it only has the uh, drum parts. You can also remove the kick and the snare and the bass. Now it's only the other tracks that are being affected by the tape track. The groove will keep on going and uh, all the rest will be affected by the tape, tape track, so you do sort of live sort of remixing. Also, this is very useful to just make a new section of a song. Uh, number three, odd track length. What you do is you hold down the I button here and then shift, and you choose, what, 15 or 12 or maybe just eight. These are great for polyrhythms and stuff. And of course, you can also change the length to two bars, four bars, eight bars. It can get quite complicated because you can say I want it to be three bars but only nine steps long. This is great for polyrhythmic stuff. Uh, I use it nearly all the time for hi-hat parts. It just suits my style. I generate patterns that shift across from each other. You quickly make something that feels like it's always evolving. It's also quite nice for melodic parts. The ability to make new patterns and chain patterns quickly is one of the greatest things about the OPZ. Quick new pattern, you hold down the pattern button and then whatever pattern you're on here, you hold shift, that's being copied now and there. And then you of course go to the new pattern there. Right? And this is great for quickly generating new patterns. Then you can, for example, mute whatever parts here. You just mute, I want to mute these parts in that pattern. And then this pattern will have these full, all the tracks playing but this pen will only have these parts playing. That's great for making new sections of songs. It's also great because you can uh, pattern chain. You hold down pattern up here, you press play, and then you go, I want this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And then it'll play it sequentially through each pattern, which is amazing for quickly uh, structuring song ideas. You can also hold down pattern, play, and then press this one twice, this one twice, and this one once, and it'll play exactly that order. This is one of the things that makes this little beast a song finisher. It's so quick to just finish songs, to generate ideas, and then structure those ideas, and then you have a song. You're done. You know, then of course you have to mix it, and that's a whole other bag of fish. Here's a little extra tip. All the drum sample packs can be reversed. Uh, you probably already knew that, but they can also be looped. That is quite interesting because uh, then you can put melodic samples or drone-ish samples uh, on your drum packs and uh, generate sort of long soundscape kind of stuff, which I'm quite partial to myself. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Click subscribe and... Um, on the um, parts of transpose track, you can actually select which parts get used. This is great for, of course, making new uh, melodic content and new chordal progressions, then you can quickly make a verse or a chorus or a bridge. But you can actually also use it on the um, drum parts. Right now it's all the melodic parts. Remove those, put all the drum parts in instead. This will actually transpose to other drum sounds. This is a little bit more controllable than the randomized step component. And it's actually also a little bit more playable. And therefore, there's a little bit more intent behind whatever you do. So you can select which parts get affected by the master transpose track. I find this very, very useful. I hope you enjoyed these little five little tips and tricks. They're just my tips and tricks of how I use the OPC. There are many other ways of using it. And uh, see you in the next one.